everyone, welcome to Happy Art Jingli. I'm artist. Today we are talking about the relationship between feng shui and quantum mechanics. Yes, quantum mechanics. Actually, the feng shui is based on the same principle of quantum mechanics. Everything in the universe is connected and made of energy at subatomic level. For example, the microscopic particles. Quantum mechanics uses wave and particle duality to describe the reality of the micro world. There's a relationship called quantum entanglement between the microscopic particles. In our real life, for our human, it's difficult to perceive the interaction of the invisible energy and the electromagnetic fields, right? But, however, the energy fields really exist. But how the energy influences our life? And how we can keep the good balance in our surround. So that is also the principle or the system of feng shui. In the last, in the past sessions, I told you already there are five elements in feng shui, including water, fire, metal or gold, earth and wood. Each element has a unique characteristics, has a unique energy vibration. Actually, if a good design feng shui, that means we keep the good balance of all energy vibration. It could bring us or enhance our energy. But if bad design feng shui or bad design feng shui elements, so the energy around us could bring the bad influence to our life. So that's what I want you to understand to choose a good feng shui design, whether a painting, whether artwork or furniture, to enhance your energy, to enhance the energy around you. In feng shui field, there's another concept called yin and yang. Yin is a visible energy and negative. Yang is visible energy and positive. Yin and yang are two forces in the universe. They are united as oneness in our world. Yin and yang are interconnected, entangled, and complementary. Yes, such like dark and bright, soft and hard, rational and emotional. For example, in a painting, you see, oh, it's a beautiful painting. In a painting, we also use yin and yang, dark and bright colors. For example, see here is dark color. If I paint your artwork, there are only bright colors without dark color. So we almost see nothing because it's too bright. So the dark color, the yin energy, bring out the bright color, the happiness, the positive objects. Okay, you see in the painting, in the artwork, they are also balanced. Balance the energy, balance the yin and yang forces. So this is the, actually, is the knowledge what I want to tell you, share with you. So in your life, if you want to choose an artwork or furniture, whatever, please think about 
Today's principle, the quantum mechanics, the entanglements between different energy elements. So I hope you will choose a good artwork for your life to support your health, wealth, and luck and success. So in our tangible life, for example, actually everyone has the perception, natural perceptions to the beautiful things. Actually, this means the influence of our uh, environment to our life. For example, if you look at or see a beautiful thing like this, you will get immediately a good feeling. If you see an ugly object, then you will get immediately bad feeling. So that is the perception for our humans to feel the energy in our environment, how the energy affects to our life. Okay, so that is today's topic. The principle of Feng Shui is Feng Shui is not magic. Feng Shui is a science. It's the same principle as quantum mechanics. It's the rule of our universe. Okay, so if you like this topic, please subscribe my channel. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.